Okay, hey guys and girls, it's Martin from HowToMakeMobileGames.com on August the 22nd, 2015. I'm doing a bunch of answers videos today for the HowToMakeMobileGames.com Pro video section. Uh, so those of you who don't know, inside of the HowToMakeMobileGames.com website, there's a, a pro section called How To Make Mobile Games Pro Videos. So uh, what I do is a bunch of answers videos and uh, catch up with you guys and try to give as much sort of input and feedback as possible um, when you do a post or ask a question or generally just talk about the post that you guys have done so this is uh, this is what you're seeing now if you are on the free channel on YouTube then definitely come over to how to make mobile games uh, there is a bunch of free sections as well it's just this is the one paid section where I'm, I'm mainly active so uh, guys definitely come over you can get a lot of value from it for sure uh, in the free section as well so uh, anyway this one is from grumpy uh, you reported on a bunch of uh, stats and uh, gave a bunch of numbers on like your new game that you've been working on while uh, for a while now. And do thanks so much for the share and post. Really, that is just awesome to see. And congratulations as well so far, man. This is awesome. Uh, 172, 327 dollars, and then 1,231. That is great to see. Really, congratulations. And I am jealous as well. Uh, the game is called More Gold Now. Guys, check it out on uh, on uh, Google Play. I think it's on iOS and maybe on Amazon soon, I think Grumpy said. Uh, really good-looking game, and I've not played it. I do need to play it. Uh, but really, uh, you know, looks like it's doing really well in terms of uh, ratings as well. And I'm guessing it's kind of similar to the uh, uh, More Money Now. Not More Money Now, sorry. What am I thinking of? Make It Rain or the Tap Titans, I think it's called. Maybe it's similar to that. I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, congratulations, dude, on, on the, you know, the. I hope this goes, the ongoing success continues. Uh, one of the things that you mentioned is um, uh, that a lot of your money is like 50 50 between in app purchases and ads at the moment, which is excellent. That's really good. The fact that you're making 50% money of in-app purchases is just amazing compared to like most games. Like for ours, it's 95% is just 95% um, is just the ads, which is a problem. We really need to change that around. Uh, I've mentioned it a few times, and you guys have mentioned it as well. But really, you know, thank you so much, Grumpy, for the stats and breakdown. You know, it's just an awesome post. Uh, guys, definitely check out his game. Um, you said that you you want to improve the the quality of the app. It sounds like yeah, definitely. If your in app purchases are doing good, then uh, it sounds like this is a great focus. Even though you're not getting many downloads at the moment, uh, you also mentioned on here as well. I've already quickly read through this this thread. Uh, launch it on Amazon. Yes, launch on Amazon because the ARPU for Amazon is better than Google Play. Uh, you might not get better downloads on Amazon. Um, so that that might be something to think about. Uh, I guess, uh, you know, if you are interested in publishing this game on Amazon Grumpy, just throwing it out there, get in contact with me uh, if you want. You know, you can... Uh, it's something that I've been considering for a while, uh, publishing other people's games on Cobalt Play. Uh, on Amazon, we generally do better. We can usually get a few hundred downloads a day on Amazon. So it might be something that we could do together. So uh, if you're interested, Grumpy, you know, drop me a message on here or you can just email me martin at cobbleplay.com. So, uh, but yeah, congratulations. I'm almost jealous, Dharma, you said. No, I I'm very jealous. <laughs> I think, uh, guys, check it out. It's definitely a good, uh, you know, he's got some great mechanics in there and some probably some great feedback. Um, you said, yeah, I'm pleased with how it's going. Uh, you develop the game alone, yeah, using the Unity Asset Store uh, for most of the graphics are sound. That's really cool. Uh, definitely the Asset Store, Unity Asset Store is a great place to find some awesome assets. Uh, we recently purchased some artwork from uh, Envato.com, E-N-V-A-T-O, and it was like $8 or something, $20 for like three packs of artwork. Uh, if we were to make that artwork, there's just it would take ages, really. It would take days and days, and the quality wouldn't be as good, um, you know, be, because we, we the developers that we work that we work with in Cobalt Play are not artists. And even if you was an artist, it would tell it would take you it would cost you way more than twenty dollars to buy the art packs. Uh, so Envato.com, E-N-V-A-T-O, is a great source. Also, the Unity Asset Store as well. Um, the original game you said took you two to three weeks to do, but you spent two months in total. That's great, Grumpy Folk. My opinion is, guys, 
anyone focus on the games that are making you money uh grumpy i think it was you you also mentioned like four months ago uh, sorry you spent four months building a platformer game that just did not bring in any money and any downloads uh which happens it happens to us all the time really we we build games uh, we think they're awesome. We put a lot of heart into them. It just does not make the money back. Some stick, some don't, and it's trying to figure out how to repeat the successful ones and why it works. You know, why does it work, and then repeat that success. So, uh, but definitely, you know, spending time in this sounds like a great idea. Um, MZR, you say congratulations, good luck, kid games, nice sharing. Yeah, definitely. Um, Grumpy, you said, thanks. I always find it interesting to see a clear breakdown in numbers, which is why I like Martin's videos so much. Thank you for the feedback. Yeah, <laughs> more videos coming soon on the revenue, of course. Uh, every every week, uh, guys, on how to make mobile games.com pro section, the pro video section, or every two weeks, I do like a revenue video update showing chart boost, in app purchases, app loving. So um, I'm glad it's great to hear that it's giving some good information and you can follow it along. Uh, we also need to improve our in app purchases for sure. We're doing something now. I just mentioned it in a video a moment ago that we are um, trying to improve our in-app purchases and working on a new game mechanic right now in our two new games. So we're going to see how that goes. It'll be very interesting to see if it does work. Um, figuring out psychologically, why do users buy things? Why do they get things? What makes them keep things, you know? Um, a remove ads button just doesn't work, in my opinion, or... or some kind of like unlock levels maybe it works sometimes but if you're unlocking levels you're only going to pay one dollar maybe you need to find a way to really exponentially increase that in-app purchase rate because there will be players who do love your game and will give a lot of money in order to play it because they're enjoying it because players vote on their um how can you say players vote with their money it's true players vote with their money uh, so, Orthrobe, hey, you're a moderator now. Congratulations, man. <laughs> you know, thank you for being a moderator, Orthrobe. That's awesome. Uh, you know, and for contributing as well, really. Uh, I'm a bit surprised how in-app purchases works for you and makes you half of the revenue. Very impressed. Yeah, me too, definitely. Uh, keep up the good work. Uh, Gexmob, you said, uh, can you give us some tips how to promote your game on Google Play? Uh, do you use ads or ASO, anything that can help us? Um, Grumpy, you said, hey, thanks. Sir. I was surprised that the apps... Uh, have proven the biggest, uh, sorry, the in-app purchases have been the biggest money maker. Uh, at the end of this month, maybe 60 to 70% will be in-app purchases. The coin doubler, uh, an ad remover, offers good value. Okay, that's cool. The coin double is very interesting. Yeah, because I think one of the reasons is, guys, in my opinion, is is we're trying to figure out now how to make our games focus more on money, okay? As I mentioned in one of the other videos, our poker game and our slots game make the most ARPU. Why? Maybe because the game is all about money. From the very beginning, the whole game is about money. It's about coins and making coins. It's a it's a casino game, you know. Uh, poker is all about the cash, uh, and cash when you have a bigger pile of chips or you know cash chips whatever, uh, you have more power. <coughs> From the beginning, if it's focused on coins and it's focused on gold or money, psychologically maybe the player is thinking, oh, this you know uh, I want to keep this money. Uh, maybe some mechanics in the game where you, you you know you play a game and you gamble or you lose the money it feels more real even though the currency is just virtual it's not actual you know real money that can be exchanged so that's something that we're thinking more about now is how to do that because when it's about money from the beginning the player sees uh, okay psychologically can be more it feels more real to them you know if it's about money if it's like You've got a game which is like a space shooter and you've got 100 levels in there and that's all good. Uh, and then you've got like a $1 remove the ads in that purchase. There's just so little value because um, uh, they can already play the game for free anyway and they can just have to suffer the ads a little bit. Okay, fine. And maybe they like the game so much that they'll do it. But it, there needs to be a way to make the game about money, about gold, about um really creating like a psychological connection to that money and giving them like the idea of uh this value in having this virtual currency we're trying to figure that out now we're testing it a little bit um maybe we will focus more games which are about money are about coins and gold as well or cash 
uh, like the game I said in another video before called Make It Rain is just about making money and all you do is flick the, uh, uh, the notes to make money, you literally flick the screen and a note will fly out and that gives you an extra dollar. The whole game is about money from the very beginning. It's about getting rich so that puts the player in a certain frame of mind from the very beginning uh, and the connection to real world money is stronger so uh, that's just my opinion on it and we're going to test we are testing it out right now to figure it out uh, we're getting better at making better games like platformers but we need to figure out how do we with our platformer games how do we connect the player to cash to money to gold to really make them you know uh, um, uh, feel like uh, like this is actual real gold, actual real money. So uh, d -d 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 where was he up to? So the player has to go through a lot of game before they even see the gems that I sell, but the players get that far uh, buying them. Even more now that I've added uh, more use of them. I've tried to monetize the game fairly, not go over the top with the MTX everywhere so that the game doesn't feel cheap or expensive or exploitative. Uh, I'm not sure what MTX means. <laughs> Is that ads? No, it can't be ads. Uh, MTX? Mm, I'm not sure. Uh, Gexmob, you said uh, it's getting huge. Uh, it's not getting huge downloads in Google Play, only 100, 150 a day at the moment. The only reason why it's making money is because the ARPU is high. This is awesome. Um, to start with, I did a small ad campaign on AppBrain, spending $100, and this seemed to kickstart the app. Uh, it hasn't uh, worked on some of the other apps. Uh, changing the icon on some keywords has had ha had the biggest impact. Yeah, A-B testing with the icons, guys. A-B testing with your screenshots on all the app stores. Uh, very important. Definitely, it's had an impact for us. And it's the most long-term impact as well. Um, because it stays in the app store. Search is very powerful. Optimize, optimize, optimize your icons, your screenshots, and get really good at them. Also, do A-B testing with your description. Google Play has the experiment section now to allow people to do that, and we've seen improvements, uh, and we need to focus more time on that for sure. Uh, the number of ratings increased dramatically after I started to prompt players in the game to rate it. This is good. Uh, great feedback there. I We've not done this so much. We've got a rate the game button, which happens in every, uh, which is in every game, but we don't prompt the player. So, for example, what we should start to do is after every, say, five levels, for example, if the player reaches the fifth level, they're probably liking the game at that point, uh, and we want to prompt them, uh, you know, to say, hey, you know, if you really like this game, give us a little, <coughs> excuse me, give us a little bit of support, uh, and it helps the development uh, for the next version or the next game. So definitely prompt you, prompt uh, the players to make a rating, guys, but... Uh, do it only after like a few levels because it's on because once they've done a few levels they're likely to like the game and therefore give you a higher star rating so um new player says hey grumpy what plugins are you using to create the font it looks so good uh, i got the font part of the ui package from the unity asset store it's one of my favorites uh, cool. And then Grumpy said, just a quick update. I added some new uh, reasons to spend gems and that had a massive impact for a short while. The initial impact seemed to have died off a bit, but the ARPU seems higher generally. At the moment, I'm trying to increase downloads and they've been dropping a bit. It's only about 150 a day at the moment across both iOS and Google Play, whereas the end of the month was about 200. Uh, so 150 a day at the moment across both iOS and Google Play. Whereas the end of last month, it was about 200. So I've started A-B testing on descriptions and I'm going to keep iterating until it starts to grow. Yeah, great idea. Definitely keep keep testing the A-B testing, uh, uh, Grumpy. Um, 150 a day across Google and iOS obviously is not massive. Uh, I'm, I'm I think I'm still on target to beat last month. I'll update the thread at the end of this month. So yeah, definitely, Grumpy. You know, I hope the ARPU continues to increase. That's awesome. Uh, it sounds like, you know, you've got some good, uh, a good mechanic in there. Like I said, Grumpy, if you're interested, um, we're considering to publish other developers' games on some of our accounts, uh, mainly on Amazon at the moment, because that seems to be where we're pretty good. So if you are interested, definitely drop me an email or post on this thread here or just email me martin at cobbleplay.com i think maybe you've already emailed me before um and it's because it's something that we're we're thinking about and and working with some developers uh, as, as a publisher as well so uh, but yeah really great thread you know awesome awesome share uh thanks for everyone else as well for commenting and and bringing their input as well um i know you guys on that section have also like talked about what you're doing in terms of promotion and marketing the in-app purchase thing guys is so 
uh, essential to bringing up the revenue because uh, ad mob revenue or, so, or, or chart boost revenue can go up and down or generally. So it's a really, really important focus. Uh, guys, definitely check out More Gold now on Google Play and iOS. Um, looks like an excellent game. This icon, I know, Grumpy, you said you updated it, and this one has had a better impact. It looks awesome, so uh, definitely check it out. Anyway, guys, that's enough from me for now. More videos coming soon, and definitely check out the howtomakemobilegames.com uh, website and go to the pro section, which is where this all these threads are. I'm posting all the pro videos in there, but also you can come to the free section as well, guys. There's a bunch of free, there's a bunch of free sections in there as well. So check it out. Anyway, have a good one, guys, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.